And don't forget that we also are going to be giving one of these units away. All you got to do is click down in the description for the details and you can win your own unit, man. That's pretty dope. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Wavy Wayne channel. Today, you're in for a special treat. This is the Wavy Rating. Now, the Wavy Rating is a review system that allows me to try it before you buy it. I'll be testing out all kind of studio equipment, plugins, software, so that you can be informed as a consumer before you go and buy your next product. Today, we're gonna be rating the RME Babyface Pro FS. Ah, oh, man, so I'm super excited about the Wavy rating. This system is gonna rate the product's features from one to 10 in categories, including features, build quality, aesthetics, support, versatility, ease of use, performance, availability, price, and of course, the wavy factor. <laughs> now, you will find out way more about what those entail, but for now, let's just go ahead and jump into the review of this Babyface Pro. So, the Babyface Pro is a product from RME, and if you know anything about RME, they are known for making high-quality studio equipment. This is an audio interface. It's a 24-channel, 192 kilohertz bus-powered professional USB audio interface. Let's go to the back of the package to check out some of the features. Some of the features that are included here include 12 inputs, 12 outputs. You also have four analog inputs, which include mic, line, and instrument settings. Four analog outputs, which will be two XLR and two headphone outputs. You have one ADAT I.O. and one SPDIF I.O. So you can use those interchangeably, whether you want to use the ADAT or SPDIF. That will get you your additional eight inputs. But since we see uh, we have the four inputs analog and we'll have another eight additional digital uh, I.O. as well, inputs and outputs. You even have a MIDI I.O. on this unit and you, it connects via USB 2.0, um, digital gain control on all of the inputs, separate output for high and low impedance headphones. Isn't that amazing? So if you have a pair of headphones that are high impedance headphones, you actually are able to use those to great quality with this professional audio interface. A lot of us go and get those headphones that just don't work, or you have an interface that, you know, is not pushing out enough um, ohms for those high impedance headphones. It also has total mix effects with EQ, reverb, and delay. So you're gonna get some free plugins as well. So I think you see, yeah, if you register this product, RME is gonna give you a free plugin bundle just from uh, registering. So they have some more specifications here that I think are really dope. But as far as the features on here, I think that this has to have a 10 out of 10 on the features. But <laughs> I already went through this, but let's check it out. House, housing is a machine from a block of aluminum intuitive and efficient user interface. It has uh, four by two channels. It can be 96K or 192K uh, via ADAT optical, steady clock. So it's gonna be super, super steady clock. No jitter on this unit at all. DDS technology for free setting of the sample rate. Signal to noise ratio input up to 120 dBA. Signal to noise ratio on the outputs, 118 dBA. So you got a high uh, dynamic range of this uh, on this audio interface that's gonna be suitable for all professional applications. Um, plus 19 or plus four dBU balance XLR line inputs and outputs. Microphone inputs with 76 dB of gain uh, in steps of uh, one dB. Total mix for free sub mixes and perfect ASIO direct monitoring. 288 channel mixer with 46 bit internal resolution. Three band parametric EQ, low cut, high cut, reverb, <laughs> and an echo. It's got DSP, it has class compliant mode so that you can even use this for your iPad or iPhone. So if you wanna record on the go in this compact desktop interface, you can do that pretty easily. What else do we have? Standalone mode supports input and output mixing and routing. So man, the features again are gonna be a 10 out of 10. This thing is feature packed. Let's go ahead and open it up so we can check out the build quality. Got my little unboxing knife here that I'll be using. Oh man, I just love the unbox. Unboxing day. Five minutes later. One thing that I like about this is that it comes with a hard carrying case. And you can throw this in your backpack. 
You can put it in a roll case or whatever. This is a hard plastic carrying case that's really going to protect your gear, right? No matter where you take it. But there's even more in this box here, which I'm excited to see. <laughs> it comes with a user guide. Now, this is something that you just don't see too much anymore, but I'm happy that we have this book, right? A thick book that teaches us everything that we need to know about this. I'm going to sit this user guide right to the side right here for now. Is there anything else in here? Nope, nothing else in here. Just some uh, protective, uh, protective padding. Now, let's get to the start of the show. It's something that I know y'all want to see. This heavy duty. Ooh, and so it's covered up. So let's see what we have in here. The first thing we have is, okay, this is the RME connector. This is gonna be your USB-C, and they have their, uh, their own little USB connector coming out of it. But look at that, what color is that? That's gold, okay? So we got the gold-plated connections, which is gonna be, you know, super, super high quality right here. I can feel it already, you know, thumbs up on that. Let's uh, put this uh, magic unit right to the side for a second. And then in here, we have these different breakout cables that we might need. Let me see what this is. Okay. So just in case you're using a computer that doesn't support USB-C, um, like this one right here, they also included a gold-plated USB-A cable as well. So again, super dope. You, right out the box, you're going to be able to use this no matter what type of computer you have. You won't need to go out and rush to get any adapters, which I love. And then they have MIDI inputs and outputs via this breakout cable. Man, how... How rare is it to get a MIDI in and out? It's labeled appropriately, MIDI out, MIDI in, really dope. And it all has a slot to fit right in this carrying case that they provide for us. I'm gonna put these cables back just like that. Goes in really easily, very compact and easy to travel with. Hey man, RME and Wavy Wayne are teaming up to give you a free Babyface Pro FS. All you gotta do is watch this video and then click the link down in the description to enter. Let's get to the start of the show though. The Babyface Pro FS audio interface. Let's see what it's looking like. Now they said this was machined out of a piece of aluminum. And I can tell right now that the build quality is absolutely superb. It's built like a straight up tank, all right? It feels very good in the hand. It's all metal construction, even the back. It looks like it might be plastic, but no. This is metal as well. This is all aluminum housing. And uh, yeah, this is machined very, very well. Super clean lines. And you can see the size of it. For this to be a 24 channel audio interface that's fitting in the palm of my hand, I'm actually very impressed. So as far as build quality on this joint, with everything that we get, I'm going to have to give this a 10 out of 10 on the build quality, right? We even gave us... Um, gold plated connector so yes I, i'm i'm with all of that we got high quality xlr inputs and outputs on this unit they had the switch here on the bottom of it if you can see that to change between uh 19 dbu or plus 4 dbu on the xlr outputs depending on what you're working on there we have our midi and we have our optical inputs and outputs as well. They also give you the uh, option to connect a DC power cable in case you need to be using this with your uh, iPad or iPhone or any other iOS device or something like that. So I like that, but I didn't see that included in the box. Hmm. <laughs> it's all good for everything else that they have in here. That's not needed, but if you absolutely need that, you can just go ahead and grab one of those. I'm sure the uh, manual will tell you exactly what voltage you need to use for that. All right. Now, over on this uh, other side of the audio interface, we have our quarter inch headphone jack. You also have an ability to just use an eighth inch headphone jack. You have your other uh, inputs, inputs three and input four, what could be line in inputs or uh, instrument inputs as well. The only thing that I wish that this would have, though, honestly, I wish that these inputs one and two 
could have also been uh, the option to be line inputs. Uh, you know, they have those combi jacks. I wish that would have been in there, but it's not the end of the world, especially since we have independent uh, line inputs available right on the side. Let's talk about the aesthetics. How does this thing look, okay? Because aesthetics and having a piece of gear that actually looks cool in the studio, that's important to me, right? I like the bells and whistles and all of that. Um, so I think that that is an important component. And when it comes to the aesthetics, I actually think this joint is pretty sleek. I think it's pretty sleek. It's pretty industrial looking. Um, let me plug it up though and, and see what kind of lights and stuff start to come on before I really jump off into the aesthetics thing. All right, so I just got my RME Babyface FS Pro <laughs> plugged in for the first time. And don't forget that we also are going to be giving one of these units away. All you got to do is click down in the description for the details and you can win your own unit, man. That's pretty dope. So we're talking about aesthetics. Um, first of all, I like how it has these lights. It's a pretty dope layout on here. We have easy control over the input, the output. Um, Mix A, uh, mix B, you can set those. I'm not sure what that's doing. If I click, keep clicking the output, it'll choose which output I'm changing. So I can change the output of channels one and two, which would be these left and right XLR outputs, change the levels of my headphones separately. And then I also have my optical output as well. The same thing with the input levels. I can change inputs, channels uh, one and two if I choose that. Let's see, okay. Input levels three and four. Okay. Maybe I need to actually have an input on there. I like that we have a dim strip switch and then a select. Okay, okay. When I do that, it something. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, so I can see now. You use the select. So if I'm on channel one and two, I can uh, change them separately just by hitting the select. So that's pretty dope that I just figured that out pretty quickly. So as far as aesthetics, um, you know, we could have a few more little little lights or be designed a little bit differently. Honestly, on aesthetics, I'm gonna have to get this unit. It is a little bit old school looking too, man. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get this unit a solid 7.5 out of 10 on aesthetics. I, you know, listen, it's not the prettiest unit, but do we always need to be the prettiest? I don't know. <laughs> now, let's get, before we get off into setting up everything, let's talk about the support. For one, the support starts off with this huge manual, okay? So we got a huge manual that's in several different languages that teaches you everything that you need to know about operating this unit. That's super key to me um, because I think as a professional, which is, and this is a professional device, you want to be very sure about what the components of your um, gear does. You want to be able to use it at the highest quality. So by having the actual manual, a hardware manual that I don't have to go and click and download, I think that speaks highly of the support. I didn't see any specific warranty card um, inside of the box straight from RME. But don't forget though, you can buy this straight from Sweetwater.com. And whenever you buy gear from Sweetwater.com, it comes with their own two year warranty. And of course, I'm a Sweetwater affiliate, so I definitely recommend that you buy all of your gear from Sweetwater.com. So when it comes to support, I'm gonna give an easy eight out of 10 for the support. Um, I wish it had like some type of a warranty card that let me know that the manufacturer is giving me a warranty. But again, they that's not a huge deal. I'm going to give them a high mark because we have this booklet right here and there's a contact number in here where I can contact or email somebody for support. And of course, if I shop at Sweetwater.com, I'll have all of the support that I need. So um, that's a big eight out of 10 for me. Now, when it comes to versatility of this unit, right, let's talk about that. For one, we have different types of connections that we can connect to our computer with. So whether it's a, a PC or a Mac, you can connect to it, whether you're using USB-C or USB-A on your computer, you can connect there, which is dope. You can even use an iPad or a iPhone to connect to and plug in the DC power so you're not draining the power from there. I love that connectivity, it's really dope. 
We also have a MIDI input and output, which is super rare on audio interfaces these days. So this is really an all-in-one solution for music producers, recording engineers, and this could even work in some live scenarios thanks to the built-in mixer capabilities that are right here on this device. Um, so not only do you have MIDI input and output, you also have um, ADAT input and output and also, or spit of. You, you have your optical uh, jacks that you could choose as well. On the other side, we have two headphones jacks. So whether you have left that, um, your, your quarter inch adapter or not, we have that. Um, and also, and you can record a keyboard at the same time that you're recording two microphones and then have outputs going to your studio monitors or wherever you like. I think that when it comes to versatility, when being able to have 24 channels of IO right here in this little small desktop package, I think that that's gotta be a 10 out of 10 on versatility. Now, the next thing is gonna be ease of use on this wavy rating. And don't forget that this is all about me trying it before you buy it, just so you know what you're getting yourself into. Now, you saw how I uh, kind of first, you know, my initial instincts are to start clicking around and pushing buttons, right? I wanna figure out how does this thing work and, and can I just start working it without having to read this huge manual, okay? That would be a super bonus if I could just start reading, I mean, start working it without having to read the manual, like, it, like doing basic stuff. Can I set up a microphone and just start recording without having to read the manual. And I feel like I can because it's pretty easy here to choose an input, right? You, you got your input settings, right? So I can choose in channels one and two. I have my output settings, right? So in this case, I'm gonna be using some headphones. Let me just go ahead and plug my headphones in. I also love how they have this little right angle cable right here so that stuff doesn't get in the way. So I got my headphones. Ooh, I should probably put this up. <laughs> um, so I got my headphone level. All I gotta do is turn it. Ooh, let's see, that's, that's gonna be loud. Let's turn the headphone level down. I love the little indicator that flashes uh, where that headphone level is going to be. And then let's see, I got my input level. I'm gonna select, okay, channel one, because that's what I'm gonna plug my microphone into. And you see how I have uh, the choice to set things there. Cool. Now, one thing I don't see um, right away is how I would actually set the phantom power. But let's see. I see that there's a P48 right here. Maybe if I hold this set A button. Okay, that's going to change to both. See, yeah. Okay, so now I need to go to actual to my user manual and find out how to enable the phantom power. Let's see how fast um, I can figure this out. As I, there's no phantom power switch, and this microphone that I'm going to use uh, requires phantom power. All right, y'all. So I just had to download the Army drivers, um, and it comes with a software called Total Mix. Now, Total Mix is where you're going to be able to access all the mixer controls and all of the features. Um, including stuff like turning on the phantom power, apparently. Now, call me crazy, but one thing I do wish is that there was just a very simple button on the face of this that would allow me to just activate the 48 volts of phantom power that I need. But, all right, y'all, so upon further review of the quick start guide and the user manual, the RME Babyface does allow you to customize the buttons on the actual interface so that you can choose to set one of them as a dedicated phantom power on or off switch. Nice to know. Let's just go ahead and check out the total mix and see how easy it is to use that application. So when you download the driver, um, it'll include a total mix software inside the application. Here is the total mix software that is included once you download the RME driver. Um, I got it open up here. Let's go ahead and make this full screen. All right, bet. So I can see each one of my channels. I can change the input to each one of those channels, the input level, or is that the panning? That's that's gonna be the panning. All right, okay, if you command click, get it back. All right, I got my little fader here to set some level. I got mute, I got solo, and then I can also EQ each one of these channels. Wow, that's pretty dope how that EQ just opens up like that. And then we have settings on here, aha. And finally, <laughs> I've found the phantom power. So the phantom power switch is inside the software, inside the settings, and also you'll find a pad inside of here. And actually, this is where you actually activate the gain for that channel. So this is gonna be an output level. Um, and then we have an effect send level as well. 
This is a total mixer. So this is my uh, fader level. I got my track gain and I just had to open up the settings within this software. Now, um, <laughs> I must say, I have to ding a couple of points on ease of use for not having the phantom power and pad accessible right on the face. So for ease of use on this thing, I'm gonna have to give this a strong eight, all right? And I'm taking two points off, but not having a pad and not having the phantom power right here on the face of the actual uh, device. Cause that would just make it my life so much easier without having to go into the software. I'm already gonna be using another software to do my recording and stuff. This just kind of clutters up my screen by having to open this to do that. Now let's go ahead and connect a microphone and see what this baby sounds like. All right y'all, so I just got my microphone set up. Of course, this is a condenser microphone, so it's going to need phantom power. So I plugged into input one on my audio interface here, as you can see on the RME, and I'm gonna hit the 48 volts. We got some action. Yeah, 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 I'm seeing a little bit of signal coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up a little bit more. Yeah, 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 okay, now we clipping, now we clipping. So I can control the gain here from within the actual software, or I can just come right over to the actual unit and I got my input selected, and if you see, I can I should be able to control the game here as well. So let's see, select. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you see how it's getting hotter, and it's also changing the corresponding uh, gain inside of the Total Mix software. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo. Ha <laughs> ha. Now let's go ahead and open up Pro Tools and record some audio real quick so we can see how this sounds. All right, so I got my Pro Tools session. I'm just gonna go and make sure that I'm using my RME Babyface Pro as my audio engine here. Cool, I'm plugged into mic line one. And let's, uh, wow, oh man. That sounds, it sounds really, really good as I expected. It sounds very high quality, man. Um, let's record this so y'all can hear it too. This is a test of the RME Babyface FS and you hear me. Don't forget that we have in a giveaway that you could probably win one of these, okay? You could probably take it home, you know, long as you got a computer though because you need that. Yeah, you need that. But yes, this thing actually sounds really good. I'm not experiencing any latency coming from this audio interface right now. I mean, it just sounds super, super crispy. I love hearing myself talk like this right now through the microphone. Dang, how, how did that sound to y'all though, man? How does that sound to y'all though, man? That's what really matters. Actually, I think that when it comes to performance, right? This thing knocks it out the park. We can go ahead and stop right there. You hear that it's coming in nice and clean, giving me a beautiful, beautiful signal. Uh, in Pro Tools. Now, I do want to take another look at this Total Mix software. Now, I don't want to get too crazy in here, but a couple of things that I'm seeing is that it has some really dope features. Like, you have talkback controls inside of here. Um, you can choose to even save settings and do a recall. So, like, you can run this whole, run a whole sound system right from this software and this um, interface itself, right? You don't need any additional um, equipment besides the computer and this interface, which can really be cool. Um, you have your built-in effects, and of course, there's some uh, plugins that you can download that goes along with this as well, man. I think that the uh, performance is absolutely a 10 out of 10. Now, let's get to the next part of the Wavy rating, and that's gonna be availability. Now, how I test availability is just simply by going and doing a Google search and seeing what pops up, right? So let's go to Google. Dot com. And I want to know, obviously, first, the Sweetwater carries this and if it's in stock, right? Because we want to be able to get our stuff fast. Nobody wants to buy something and have to wait uh, six months to, to actually get it in. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to put in the uh, Baby uh, Face Pro um, FS is this unit, All right? So let's see. Sweetwater.com. I'm going to click on it. Do they have it in stock? If Sweetwater has it in stock, we don't really got to check nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because we want that free warranty and that free shipping and all that. All right. 
So Sweetwater has it in stock. Man, they got a giveaway. Don't worry about that. We giving this away uh, to you uh, right here with Babyface itself. Um, and they even got a demo model for you to save 100 bucks. So Sweetwater has it in stock. The availability is everywhere. You see a bunch of other companies that are reputable have this in stock with all kinds of kits. It's everywhere that um, Pro Audio is found. So I'm going to have to give this a 10 out of 10 on availability. Now, one thing that is super important to me, and I know it's important to you, it's going to be the price, man. Like, really, like, we don't want to have to be breaking our banks, taking out mortgages and all of that just to build up our studio. So the Babyface Pro, the Army Babyface Pro FS, is coming in at just shy of $1,000 for this audio interface. Now, the quality is up there. The support is up there. The versatility through the roof. Now, the price, I'm going to have to get this a 7 out of 10 on the price just because, now I ain't saying it's not worth it. I'm going to say just because I wish it was about 700 bucks. If this was a $700 audio interface, it would be within the grasp of more people. So, But do I recommend that you get this, the wavy factor? I'm going to have to say yes, a 9 out of 10 with so much taken off of that point. It would be a 10 out of 10 if it had a phantom power switch on the front and if it was 700 bucks, right? That's just me. That's because I think it should be a little bit less. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. All right, y'all. So with all of the different rating points added up, a 10 on features, a 10 on build quality, an 8 on aesthetics, a 10 on support, 10 on versatility, 8 on ease of use, 10 on performance, 10 on availability, a seven for the price, and a nine for the wavy factor. I'm gonna have to give this a total overall wavy rating of 92 out of 100. That means this is a great deal. This is a go. This is definitely something that you want in your professional recording studio. I'm Wavy Wayne. What do y'all think about the Wavy rating? Who owns this Babyface RME? Let me know by dropping down in the comments. And don't forget that we giving one away, man. <laughs> you can win this. Free thanks to RME. Go ahead and click the link down in the description below so that you can enter to win today.